You guys have been asking me a lot for tutorials on my Undertale guitar arrangements, and so that's what we're going to do right now. Before I begin, I just want to make it abund abundantly clear that these covers, these guitar arrangements, they're hard. They're really hard. I've been playing guitar for like 15 years, I've been making videos for three, and these are the hardest things that I've ever done on my channel, ever. So, you know, just uh, keep that in mind as we move on with this. I'm not responsible for any wrist damage or carpal tunnel that you may sustain. Alright, so, we're gonna start we're gonna start out with Fallen Down. That's the one I get asked for the most. And we'll do the shop theme, and then we'll do Flowey's theme, Your Best Friend, later on. I don't know if I'm gonna do these all in one video. I might split them up into three, because it takes a lot of editing to do these. So, um... You'll know when you read the title of this video whether it's going to be one shot or three. Alright, so, falling down. To start out, we got to change the tuning up a little bit. So, right now I'm just tuned to regular. In order to make this work, you have to take your E string and tune it up one half step. So, your E become an F. So we'll just do it right now like this. I'll, I'll explain why we have to do that later on. Next thing, I recommend that you use a capo for this. I had to because some of these stretches in these covers are really hard and I don't think that I would have been able to do them in the regulars because, yeah, you know, It'd be too hard. I can't do it. I don't want to die. So, if you're going to follow along, get a capo, and we're going to put it on the third fret. Just like that. Now, something you might notice is that as we play this, as I teach you, it's not going to be in the same key as my original video, because in the video, I tuned my guitar down pretty far to match with the original song so that I could still have a capo and be able to make these stretches. So if you want it to sound exactly the same, I'll put the tuning in the description and you can do that if you want, but I figured for the sake of simplicity we'll just do it in regular. So first I'm just going to walk you through the chords for this and then we'll I'll try to go over the picking pattern after you, you know the chords. So, to start out you're going to take your pinky and you're going to put it on the ninth fret on the A string. And you're going to take your ring finger and you're going to put it on the eighth fret on the uh, D string. And then your index finger is going to cover the rest of the strings on the, what is that, the sixth fret? I believe that's the sixth fret. So it'll sound like this. So there's our first chord. The next chord is basically just a C major, so... Except, we're going to add our pinky to the 6th fret on the G string. So it sounds like this. Okay, so there's our second chord. Now, the next chord is... I don't know what this is. It's a thing. We're going to just take your middle finger and put it on the 6th fret. Take your ring finger, uh, the 6th fret on the E string that is. You're going to take your ring finger and put it on the 6th fret on the A string. And then your index, or your, yeah, your index finger is going to cover the D and the G and the B on, on the, uh, let's see what it is, the 4th fret. And then your pinky it's going to cover the E string on this, uh, what is that, the 6th fret. Sorry, I, I'm bad at this. So it'll sound like this. Okay, this is why we tuned this one string up for this, is to make that chord function properly. It's like, when I was arranging this, I could not figure a way out to get that note when it was tuned to regular. There's no way to do it, so that's why I had to tune up. So, that's our third chord. Now we're going to vary
carry that chord up a little bit, turn it into a minor chord, I think. So put your ring finger on the 6th fret, put your middle finger on the E string, put your middle finger on the 5th fret on the A string, index finger is on the 4th fret on the D string, it should sound like that, and your pinky will, be, will stay on the 6th fret on the E string. So like that. See, the next chord, this is probably the hardest chord in this whole arrangement. You have to make a D chord, basically, like that. But it's not a D chord, it's something else. I don't know. Anyway, so from this chord, like I said, then we're going to go to this chord. So take your index finger, put it on the 4th fret on the D string. Take your middle finger, put it on the 6th fret on the G string, take your pinky, put it on the 7th fret on the B string, and then take your ring finger and put it on the 6th fret on the E string. So it sounds like this. Let's see, in the next chord, it sounds like this. So from here, we go here. Our D string is open. Our middle finger is on the 6th fret on the G string. Ring finger is on the 6th fret on the B string. And index finger is on the 4th fret on the E string. So just like that. Okay, so we're going to run through the chords again. First chord. Second chord. Third chord. Fourth chord, fifth chord, sixth chord. So in terms of the chord progression, that's the foundation for what we're working with here. Once you start throwing in the picking pattern, it gets hard. So I guess what I'll do is I'll show you I'll break the picking pattern up into two sections. We'll do the thumb, and then we'll do the two fingers. So, I guess we'll just jump right into it. top two fingers, which is going to be your index finger and your middle finger, the pattern goes like this. I'm going to try to simplify it to show exactly what these two fingers are doing with the left hand, if that makes any sense. So here it is. two things together, which is a lot easier said than done, believe me, I know, it should sound something like this. easy but it is very hard it's very hard all right I'm gonna play it one more time but I'm gonna bring the camera like super close so you can see a little better and I'm gonna play it really slow
that helps you guys. It's it's hard, I know. I'm sorry that it's so hard. I wish that it was easy. I do. Because then I just make a million of these. But they're really hard, so I've only done three. So next we'll take on the shop theme. I'm not sure if it's going to be one video or not, like I already said. If, it, if I do decide to chop it up into three videos, the next one will be out maybe even like tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm going to try and keep them super close so they're, it's like within three days all three videos will be out. Okay, so I hope this helped you and I will see you next time.